In this lesson, you will learn how to define the iteration which should be executed of a UFT test directly from ALM Octane. As a precondition, you need to make sure that you have configured your UFT test runners and your um, UFT tests are stored on a Git repository. So I have already a sample UFT1 test with a number of iterations and I'm printing just the value of the data table parameter in the result reporter. So you can see in total here I have um, seven iterations which are being executed and this is the result basically what is produced. So you can see here I'm running across all the iterations which I have, uh, printing out the name in the iteration node, in the result node, as well as here you can see I have the uh, details on the name as well as on the iteration number. And now what I would like to do, this test is also uh, represented in ALM Octane and I would like to remote control the number of iterations. So if I want, I just want to execute um, the second uh, till five, fifth iteration or second till sixth iteration or all iteration. This is something what I would like to define when I'm running this test case from a, a ALM Octane test suite. Let's go back to ALM Octane and go into the quality module. Now let's define a new suite where we are going to exactly define this. So let's say this is an iteration demo and then edit and I will just insert the, the test case which I have defined. So you can see here this is the test case which is also represented here on my environment. I've made sure that this is committed and pushed to my repository. So it appears now after configuring my test runners in ALM Octane and I could now add this maybe one time. I could also add multiple times the same test case and um, run it in different uh, iteration configurations. So I will just now go for, um, I will just go now for these two test cases. Make sure you have the right test runner defined. This is important. I have multiple test runners, so I'm selecting the correct one here. And now you can see um, there is a column called execution parameters. If it doesn't exist, make sure you can uh, bring it forward and highlight it. Um, so in my case, it is selected. So it's shown also in the grid table. And now here I can decide, okay, in this case, I would like to run the first five iterations. So I could say iterations equal, and then I define a range, which is RNG iteration with capital I comma one to five and in the second I would say okay let's run iterations again equal range uh, iterations from three to five yeah, so in the first case it will run five iteration in the second uh, case it will run only three iteration and um, this allows me to really define what iteration should be executed on a specific test case. So once I'm ready, I can say run suite. Click on run. And now you will see a new run is created for the suite. Here I can see the test runner is initializing. As this test is not really capturing any UI activity, uh, it will just uh, run the first five iteration in, for the first test case and the three iteration from the third to the fifth row for the second uh, test case and document the parameter and their values into the result. Once this is completed, you will see that the test runner, which is currently running, will jump to completed and um, here the status will be updated. So you can see the test cases are passed. Test runner itself is finished. Let me show you quickly the log files. 
in the console output you can see that in the first iteration I said starting iteration is one and iteration is five and the second one I said start from three and run until five and we have in total seven iterations so this should be fine and now I could even go further and go into the single test case and ask for the result and here you can see I have in the first one I have exactly five executions while as in the second run I should see only three iterations from the row three till five so here I can see exactly the names and this is how easy you can define the iteration on the on based on the test suites um, on the level of the UFT test.